and a very good day to all my viewers out there. This is video number 20 of my 2019 flood coverage. It is right now Saturday, April 27th, 2019. It's 2.55 p.m. And what a way to open my 20th video by showing you up close the water coming from the west, coming from Ottawa, Gatineau, Ontario, working its way east through Montreal, through the St. Lawrence River network, and eventually heading to the Atlantic Ocean. Well, look at that water, look at the strength of that. And of course, the big story that I reported on today was the fact that this bridge right here that you're looking at, this is the Gallipo Bridge. This is part of the Highway 20. And you can't see it, but in the distance, right in around that area, that's the part that's starting to flood, very similar to 2017. So that's why they've closed this off. Now what I'm gonna do for this video is I'm gonna walk around St. Anne de Bellevue, similar to my other ones. Now we're gonna see what's happening in the residential zones. And like I said, the big factor today is the wind. We have very strong westerly winds. And there's our water marker right there, if you're interested. Let's take a look at that. It's at the 34, 35 mark. Like I said, that thing's a little backwards, but we can compare it at least to 2017, where all my videos are. So let's walk around St. Anne's here. Let's walk around the residential area, see how they're dealing with the flooding on the streets, see what the water level's like. Oh, this looks interesting. Look at the water coming over these locks here. As I said, it is a little bit windy, so I apologize for that. That's because we have a cold front that's moving through very cold right now, it's about 4 or 5 degrees. Now I am filming in a different format, it's supposed to be a much better picture, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but uh, if it's a little bit different than my regular format, I apologize. This is apparently a higher 4K version. So let's take a look here, this is these locks here, look at this. A little water coming over the locks. Now you can see this area here is completely flooded over. This reminds me of a dam. I mean, if you think of a dam, there's one northwest of here that's in danger of failing. This is the same concept. You have the water overflowing, but imagine something a hundred times bigger than this in danger of failing, the danger to the communities below. So that's the situation right now. Uh, northwest of Montreal, it's the Bells Falls, I believe, the Bells Falls Dam. So they had to do a bunch of evacuations. But look at this, the water is actually coming over here now onto the land. I'm gonna see the street in a minute, but for now let's take a look at this. Now the fact that the water, the fact that the winds are coming from the west means that they're pushing the waves onto the land here in Montreal and all the other neighboring areas. So this wind is basically creating kind of like a, a push effect, kind of like a storm surge that you usually see with hurricanes. Look at this. Try to get up close here. So you can see the river is quite angry and uh, you know, I'm going to keep saying this. It's not a coincidence that these things keep happening. It's not a coincidence we're having two major floods within the last three years. And anyone that denies climate change at this point, well, what more proof do you need? I mean, things flood. There's flooding all the time. But it's never this major, never this common. Let's take a look here what they've done. Here's the sandbags. So we're going to take a look at the sandbags here and see how they're, uh, they're holding up. Yeah, when I was here the other day, this whole area was not flooded, so this is definitely a new development. Look at that. It's gonna get a bit noisy here as we have some pumps in progress. But look at this, the street's not flooded, interestingly enough. Oh, this is incredible, look at this. 
you can actually see where they put the sandbags and where the boundary layer is. This is incredible. So these sandbags are working. As you can see right here, they they got the sandbags. If these sandbags weren't here, this street would easily be breached. So at least they're doing a good job in terms of that. Let's take a look over here. But look at this yard. This yard's completely flooded. So this is spectacular, spectacular video right here. This yard is completely flooded, but they're managing to keep the street dry and they have some sandbags as well on that house. But just imagine if these sandbags weren't here, what would happen? Let's go down here and see what's happening at uh, the park. This backyard's completely flooded. So over here, it looks like they're putting up more sandbags, more reinforcements. So if you notice the big difference, of course, between this year and 2017 is the fact that they're keeping the street dry. But that doesn't mean that uh, these houses, these structures that are at the shore aren't getting affected. They are. Now, from what I understand, they've completely closed the park off here, uh, Park Guadouin, which we're coming up to. So we're going to see. Just remember, compare this video to about three days ago when I was here. And you're going to see the progress. You're going to see how this flood is progressing. Look at this. These pumps are going. And here you go. Look. This water right here is obviously coming from directly from the river. But the sandbags are holding up. And the fact that they have the park closed off, even if we can't get into the park, you'll at least get to see an idea from here how high that water is. And just remember what I described the other day. In 2017, you're going to see those picnic tables that were completely underwater. Let's see if they are as well here. And it's getting there. Look at that. So there's the park, which they've blocked off. So the sandbags are holding up, but you can see there's still some leaks going on. And I'm sure, even though it's better than 2017, I'm sure it's not the case everywhere. So let's see how high this river is right now. Let's take a look. So there's the area where I did my last video a few days ago. Very windy by the water. Now look at this, this whole street here is now flooded. I was walking here the other day doing my walking video and the street was not flooded. So there's the situation right now. So I'm going to wrap her up here. I'm going to give you one closing shot here. I'm going to save my battery because i got a lot more videos to do. But here's a nice shot right here. Put everything in perspective. How high that water is. Just remember when I started these videos a couple weeks ago, I was standing right over there. And you can see they're hard at work here getting these houses protected, sandbags. So I'm going to wrap her up here and there's always more videos to come.